hello guys and welcome to my video so in this video i'll be tackling a question that i've been getting from a lot of people who want to know like what's the first programming language they need to learn so they can be able to get started in programming right so to tackle this question like you need to know which field in programming you want to to be part of right so that will really help you a lot to know which programming language you need to learn and if you want to become a software developer, you still need to decide whether you want to be a front end engineer or a back end engineer. So because because I like I love creativity and I love design, I love designing things and I want to see the, the changes immediately. That's why I chose the path of front end engineering. So I knew if I chose front end engineering, I'll be able to, to stay motivated and stay consistent because that's what I love to do, right? I can't just choose back in engineer because it's cool. I won't be motivated to keep learning because that's not what I want to do. So that's why I chose front end engineer first and did a lot of research, watched a lot of videos so that I can be able to learn exactly what I need to learn so that I can become a front end engineer. So if you want to become a front end engineer, the first thing you need to learn is just HTML, CSS, then you can jump into a programming language like JavaScript. Then after then you can learn some design tools like Figma, Adobe XD. Uh, you can learn some some libraries or frameworks like for, for CSS like SAS. Then you can learn React for, for, for the front end uh, development. So that's those are the tools that you're going to need to learn. So you can be able to become a front end engineer and other tools you you learn as you go on becoming a more uh, intermediate front end engineer because you already have those basics. In case when you be, want to become a back end engineer, you want to create algorithms in the back end like for for the databases and the whole logic for the app. The programming language that you need to consider learning first, like I would recommend learning Python because Python is very easy to get started with because it's basically just English. It's not like other programming languages where you need to, to do like some brackets, some curly brackets. A lot of times when you want to do a basic thing, but with Python, you know, if you already know English, it'll be much easier for you to learn Python. So I recommend you guys to learn Python to get started with Python first if you want to become a backend engineer. Then if you want to become a full stack engineer, which is what, what I'm doing at my job right now is to learn the backend technologies and the front end technologies. So later on, I started getting interested in the backend side of things. So that's when I dived in into learning Python and the, the Python framework, which is called Django. Then I realized that, that a lot of jobs that require full stack engineer, they really recommend you to learn Node.js instead of Python. And the, Django, and the Django framework. So that's why I invested a lot of time learning Node.js instead of Python and the Django, and the Django framework. But I, I also know those technologies, but not that much like I know Node.js. So if you want to become a full stack engineer, just learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, then learn a framework for, for the front end, like React or Vue or Angular. Then for the backend side of things, learn Node.js, Learn Express, learn MongoDB, which is the database that is used uh, for, that goes along with uh, Node.js very well. Although you can use it in Python, but it goes very well in Node.js. So learn those things, then you'll be able to, to get started in your full stack engineering journey. Then in case you want to become maybe a data analyst, a data scientist, or you want to do machine learning and AI, I recommend you to learn Python. Like, 100% learn Python because it's much, it's very much easy to learn. So if you want to become an AI or machine le or to do machine learning, which is what I'm trying to learn right now. And if you want to go into that path, you're basically going to need at least a basic uh, knowledge of mathematics, which I do not really have. I have mathematics, but I'm not that good like other people. That's why I chose the path of web development because they don't really do a lot of a lot of uh, algorithms that require mathematics but if you want to dive into data science 
and machine learning, you're going to need some basics of math, a good understanding of calculus, statistics, probability, linear algebra. So those topics you need to be good at so you can be able to become a good machine learning engineer or a data scientist. So if that's the path you want to go to or to go into, you need to learn Python or you can choose another different language to learn, but Python is what I'm going to recommend you guys to get started with if you want to become a machine learning or data science or a data analyst engineer. So basically, as I was explaining everything in this video, you notice that I've never included or mentioned any other programming language other than Python and JavaScript. So I think if you can learn JavaScript and Python, then you'll be good to go into any, any path you want to go to. Because if you want to become, if you want to do the website of things, then you're definitely going to need to, to know JavaScript. Especially if you want to become a funny engineer, you're going to need to, to know JavaScript and you can learn Python so you can do the backend or you can just stick with JavaScript because with JavaScript, there's a framework called Node.js. With that framework, you can do the backend side of things. You don't need to learn another language like PHP or Python to do the backend side of things. You can do everything using just JavaScript. But you can, if you, if you don't feel comfortable learning Python, like you feel it's not enough or you don't like it, you can basically learn another, any other programming language like Java or C Sharp or any other programming language. But I've never even tried to learn those languages because I knew with Python, I was good to, learn, to do anything, like anything is possible in Python especially with the machine learning, the web development, like any path, you can go to any path with Python. So I recommend you guys to choose wisely. So I've mentioned like the reasons why you need to learn a certain programming language. So just choose which path you want to go to, then choose a correct or a relevant language that will be able to help you get into that path much quicker and very easy. So thank you guys for watching this video, like and subscribe so that I can release more content like this. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.